It's back to school. It's back to school. Everyone hates it because it's back to school. And that's pretty much example number Z why Andrew should have a singing career. But anyway, it is indeed back to school. Everyone's probably back at school by now. I think literally everyone is uh, is working hard. Uh, I know a bunch of my friends are still like doing their uni exams, so it's getting absolutely hashtag cray. But guys, I did a video I think last week where I was going over a couple like schoolyard prizes for stuff, and it's a couple of people like Ando that really helped me out. Have you got any other tips and tricks for when you went to school and uh, you had the Pokemon cards? And guys, let me let me tell you, I had a couple Pokemon hacks because Pokemon cards were banned at my school. Now I'm not saying you break Pokemon, like if Pokemon are banned, don't bring no Pokemon cards to school. But like if you can still do it. This is how you can do it. All right, so pretty much step number one, I'm gonna get something. Make sure everyone has this. If you don't even have it and you're not planning to bring to school, still, you gotta get this. Number one, a rare Pokemon card always helps. Number two, a sleeve. Now, whether you get this out of Elite Trainer Box, this one's in the Elite Trainer Box or Galio Edition, just any sleeve. If you pull a really rare card, sleeve it up. Honestly, I don't know how many people have sent me like, crinkle cards, rip cards, uh, something cards. My mum accidentally crushed it in the vacuum. I don't know, my dog thought it was a bone and ate the card. I don't know if a sleeve would actually <laughs> save you from that one, but yeah. Sleeve always just helps, gets the, like, the dust off it. Always keep your cards in a sleeve when you're taking them places or just putting them on display. Now, a sleeve, you shouldn't even stop there. I always recommend get top loaders. If you don't know what they are, search them up on eBay, super duper cheap, like literally 20 cents each maybe. If that, you're gonna get top loader right? You literally get this Pokemon card in a sleeve, and this is the ultimate way to protect your cards. Put it inside that bad boy, and now if you ever like take that anywhere, or I don't know, I don't know what you kids do with your Pokemon cards nowadays, but as you can see, it's not gonna break, it's uh, really, really rigid, and this is the best way to keep your cards. So leave it in a top loader. So top loader, sleeve, Pokemon card, this bad boy ain't going anywhere. Now guys, I do understand that top loaders are very bulky and uh, not everyone wants to use them. Everyone's like, oh, top loaders are so bulky, they're not even gonna fit my pocket. That's all right, that's totally fine. Sleeve your card up and then I always recommend a binder. Just get yourself a binder, they're available absolutely everywhere. That way we, you can take so many different Pokemon cards wherever you want, always gonna be in fantastic condition. Uh, then you can sort of, I don't know, lay your binders out. You can have the ultra rare one, the regular rare one, but uh, just get yourself a good little like, binder thing here. I've got the uh, Darn Pell Japanese promo one right here, which I haven't even opened yet. They turn into collectibles if you just want to collect them, but always, I, remember, I just recommend binder sleeves. Then top loader if you just want that one cool card to be uh, protected. But guys, if you're bringing cards to school ever, just have them in a the binder. And if you're only bringing like one or two, have them in a top loader or a sleeve. Now, okay, this is the real uh, how you get your Pokemon cards into school without anyone knowing that you got Pokemon cards. Say someone looks through your bag, someone looks through your pencil case, like I know the I know the cards are in here, I watched a listed leaf, I gotta look for the top loader. This is where I get super uh, super crafty right here, and we go Mission Impossible. I'm basically cast for the next Spy Kids movie. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna get a regular like mini sized pencil case. They sell these, they're really cheap, like four or five bucks. Open this one up, have your card in the top loader, have a couple of them because this thing can hold a couple. Pop it in. Zip it up. That way, if you're like, I don't know, Johnny's red texture that's sitting in there starts leaking, you're good to go. Like, this thing's all sealed up. You get this one. You get the exact same color. Make sure this isn't see-through. And pop it in there. Preferably the front pocket, but if you're doing the top, it should be fine. Hence, oh, what's this? It's my pencil case. Open it up. You can have textures, everything, pencils all in there. Oh, there's nothing in there. They'll, pre they'll leave you alone. No one, no one will care. But little do they know, that's where you keep your flippin' ultra rare Espeon GX card. And that was pretty much <laughs> when I was in school, I did that all the time because I knew like kids would always come up to me, want to see that couple Pokemon cards I had, and I was like, oh yes, I just wanna I just wanna chill, alright? No one's seeing no Pokemon cards today. I'd hide them, so I'd go one, you know, put it in the uh, mini pencil case, which I bought from the news agent on the way home from school one day for four bucks. And I'd put that bad boy in a bigger pencil case. And no one cares what's in your pencil case. Maybe the weed kit at the back, but that's about it. And uh, yeah, you can keep it all in there. So that's what I did so often. Now a couple of other tricks, Pokemon related. Oh, these are bangers. Let me, uh, I'll go downstairs to this one, but <laughs> it's so random, but I loved it. Let's, uh, let's go do it. All right, so this one's a pretty crafty one that I used to always smuggle snacks into class. And how I did this, I got that pencil case, the bleak black one I was showing you, and I'd choose one of these. Don't do all of them because then it starts to get suspicious. Maybe just pick one or two. 
Usually the red one's a winner, so what we're gonna do with this red one, right, you're gonna take the lid off. Now pretty much after you've got the lid off here, it's gonna have like a really empty container, maybe even a toy inside if you buy it from the store. But then I'm gonna get my Tic Tacs, cause oh, 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 the orange flavor, I could demolish a whole flipping box of those. And I'm just sort of, I'd fill it up a bit, you know, you get a couple in there, come on Tic Tacs. So after you do that, you then put the lid on, and look at this. You're good to go, as long as you don't rattle around too much. I mean, let's have a taste test, make sure these are all right. Oh my god, they're, okay, they're incredible. But uh, yeah, you sort of fill that up. So uh, instead of having a light, empty one full of like uh, Pokemon, you take the Pokemon out, you still bring the Pokeball school, it's got some air vents, and you're chilling. And then you get hungry one day, boop, lid comes off, have a Tic Tac. So uh, that's how I pretty much got all my uh, candy into class. I'd put it in there, then put this into my pencil case. No one would ever question it. They'd just think I'm a dude with a Pokeball in this pencil case. But little do they know, this opens up and there's candy inside. So uh, that was always a winner for me. Now, who likes the glue stuff? Because I know certainly Endo does. Uh, glue and everything back in the day was half the fun. Now, what you have to do, you gotta pimp your glue stick out because you can't be that regular kid with a regular glue stick. You're gonna get one of these. It's a uh, face cut out of Pikachu. We can, you can just Google, it pretty much comes out and we're gonna cut out every single bit of here and tape it onto this and make it a Pikachu glue stick. So uh, let me just time lapse this. I'm gonna cut this out and uh, BRB. So then pretty much you sticky tape all the different bits you cut off there and it turns into none other than your custom made yellow flipping Pikachu glue stick. Dude, I love it so much. It's basically a pet glue stick. All right, that sounds a bit weird. But yeah, anyway, it's a Pikachu glue stick and super duper simple to do. Like this costs three bucks. Uh, you just print off the paper, buy a $3 glue stick, make sure it's yellow and uh, you're good to go. That, oh my gosh, I'm so happy with how that turned out. Uh, leave it, dude, this is something you could do. Like definitely try and do it and uh, let me know. Tweet me a picture or something. See you guys, that pretty much wraps up my uh, tips and tricks for Pokemon. Uh, yeah, Pokemon edition, back to school hacks. I don't know, it was just all round stuff I used to do in school that I thought you guys would really, really enjoy. Uh, I'm really loving making these sort of DIY crafty uh, tip sort of videos. If you guys want some more, you got some suggestions, leave a comment in the comment section below. I always love to hear it. Tweet me, Facebook me, Instagram me, literally every social media I'm on there, unlisted leave, hit me up, let me know what you think. But uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I always appreciate it. Most of all, gonna keep on gaming. Alright, guys, next crazy DIY endo video. I'll see you then. Alright, guys, keep on gaming.